Today we're talking about harnessing the power of the central nervous system, potentially uh, using little devices to fix the electrical signals uh, that can cause problems and disease. We talked with DARPA about this. They and others like GSK are working on this. Listen to what Dr. Doug Weber told us about the concept. It all comes down to communication of information throughout your nervous system and between the different cells of your body. And there's the, pharma, there's the chemist's approach, right, in the form of drugs, and there's the electrical engineer's approach in the form of uh, electrics. So agencies like DARPA and NIH are working on this. Uh, companies like GlaxoSmithKline are also working on this. They call it electroceuticals uh, or bioelectronics. Uh, take a look at how this would work. Many of the functions of our bodies are governed by electrical signals. Scientists envision this system can be modulated with tiny implanted devices to repair disease. Madison has already tapped into this concept with devices like the pacemaker, where electrodes monitor the heart's rhythm. Any abnormalities trigger the pacemaker to send an electrical pulse to the heart to restore regular rhythm. Newer ideas involve miniature electrodes implanted on nerves. Researchers hope this approach could address diseases from asthma to hypertension to diabetes. You did. So the idea here is you'd actually be using these tiny electrodes sitting on individual nerves or nerve bundles uh, and really figuring out all the precise ways that our electrical signaling is implicated in disease. Because right now we're targeting the chemicals in our bodies. Sure. And the point is there's a whole lot else going on too. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.